Hey, how's it going? Gonna throw down, play this one a little bit, see what it's about. Had this for a while, never really even tried to do anything with it at all, whatsoever. Uh, so I figure I'm gonna do quick, figure what this shit is. See if it's popular, I might play it sooner rather than later. So anyway, developed and published by Tecmo, it was released on PlayStation Portable in 2005 and later released on PlayStation 2. Did I say PlayStation 2 before? PlayStation Portable, 2005, PlayStation 2, North America, October 17, 2006. So, Chocobot is a platformer puzzle game developed and published by Tecmo for the PlayStation Portable in 2005. An the expanded version was later released for the PlayStation 2 entitled Chocobot Plus Mysteries of the Karakuri. Uh, the player controls Bolt, who makes use of the Chocobots to explore the prehistoric ruins found in the game. The Chocobots make, mimic both the actions and can be used together in joint action complex tasks that include fusing them together make Karakuri uh, combinations. Combinations can do almost anything from activating dead gears to shooting laser beams. There are two types of Karakuri robots, both of which come in varying sizes, workers and keepers. Workers do odd jobs and include small clunkers and large tornadoes. Tornader. Keepers protect the ancient ruins and include tiny beepers and evil zero. A PlayStation 2 version of the game adds secret platforming sections that allow players access to hidden treasures. In addition, players no longer have control over the How sad. Eventually, upon these ancient crumbling ruins, a new civilization was born. Although it paled in comparison to the culture of the ancients, it produced a new technology based upon speed and gears, and gave rise to a thriving population. Within the yeah. civilization of adventurers who protected the prehistoric ruins from evildoers and sought to solve the mystery of the ancients. They were called Treasure Masters. In one particular team, Canewood's lab was home to many Treasure Masters. This is where I come into the picture. In this laboratory, there was a young boy who sought to become a Treasure Master. His name was Bolt. Tell me he's different from the rest. A small robot called a Chocobot, sleeping among the ruins, and his destiny took a sudden and dramatic change of direction. He became crooked. No longer straight. Uh, in addition, players no longer have control over the overdrive forms. They now only briefly appear to attack before disappearing. And the reception was a GameSpot 8.2 out of 10. And the six yeah. Always have an interrupt me. That's one thing I do like about playing something other than old stuff. Wait a second. I hear. As a reward for all your hard work, I'm going to let you take the Treasure Master preliminary test. 
that this will be as follows. There is a snake tooth in the Valve Air Ruin that supposedly contains Phoenix on its secret. Your task is to find this snake tooth and bring it back here. This is the preliminary test to become a treasure master. Yay! Mr. King, about the treasure master test. Don't you think it's still too dangerous for Volk? Wouldn't it be best to have him continue his training for... <laughs> He'll be fine. I say. You know, Fury. For someone known as the demon teacher among the changes, you're quite the worry wart. For these sorts of things, practice makes perfect. Stop being a party pooper. Besides, Volk is a reliable companion in the Toko Bot. It's true that if he uses the Toko Bot well, Volk should have as good a chance as anyone. I sent the. On with uh. Off at once for the Valve Air Ruin. Once you've arrived, we will give you further instructions. Good luck! <laughs> and uh, keep taking up my time. Long time no see, Volk. How do you like riding on the flying ship? Just to remind you, I'll be your navigator, Ruby. Ruby. Be serious now, Ruby. Although you two may be childhood friends, this, this is no laughing matter. This is a prehistoric ruin. You could I wanted some. Careless. I wanted some uh, training and beyond fuck. Ruby sandwiches. And I want some sandwiches from Ruby though. Yeah, I'm a jerk. Just kinda of playing with buttons here for a moment. Not sure what that's about, but okay. I didn't really realize I'm supposed to hold that to do stuff, so. Although I do want to get this part out of the way while I'm still at it. Goodbye background music. Sadly. It always takes an um and out of the game though, and it makes me kind of sad. So let's see, what else? Looking around, seeing what's around, I guess. Oh, de more dialogue. Also, about the Toko Bot. You can use many of their abilities when joined to them. By pressing the square, triangle, or circle button. Okay. Joint is the process of pressing the R1 button in order to connect to Tokobot. Neato. Just press the R1 button when you want to join. I did do that. Port too, so take a look when you can. Nope. 